Now, in all likelihood, I'm going to be really disappointing some people today. Okay. Uh, let's just go through this one more time. What I would have to do if I do it, if I paint the deck and do it the right way. Or at least one of the right ways. Okay, first of all, I would have to paint the deck one color. Then I'd have to put down a whole bunch of little strips and I'm I'm estimating that I would probably have to put down at least 300 of them. At least 300 all, all over the ship. And I mean, I mean this thing is is long. I mean it goes away down there. Okay, uh, yeah, so then after we get our color on and we get our little strips down, uh, then what we would do is paint it another color and remove some of the strips. Then we would have to paint it the final color and remove the rest of the strips. I'm, I'm probably missing something. Then there's the clear coat. Then, uh, and the reason you have to put the clear coat on is so that when you do your, your uh, weathering, um, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna bleed into the flat paint, which is what it will do. So there's a there's several different processes that I have to go through here. Uh, to say nothing of, of cutting up uh, th about 300 of these little little strips. Um, yeah, there, there's there's just a, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, for it's not fun anymore. In other words, I was going to say a lot of fun, but for me it wouldn't be fun anymore. It would be. As somebody mentioned in, in, in yesterday from the comments from yesterday's video, stress. And uh, I I just don't want to I just don't want to get myself all stressed out over this deck. The the deck of the Bismarck and I just snapped a photo of it a minute ago. Uh, it looks pretty good. I th I don't see why I can't have this deck look that good. Now that's that's just my opinion. Maybe it won't come out looking that good, uh, but I, I think it will. I think it'll look that good. Or to some of you real pros that are into detailing, that bad. I, yeah, I know. Uh, so I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do this thing with the strips of of masking tape. And thank you for all the other suggestions that I got. A lot of really good plausible ideas. Um, and I, it's, this is probably my fault because I have a tendency to ramble as I'm as I'm looking at my at my ship here, and I'll say, "Now, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do there?" And then people answer me; they're telling me what you're going to do or can do. So, uh, and then I don't do it. So, like I say, I'm probably going to be disappointing a lot of people today. Another way I look at it is like this. Let's say you go to a, a big shopping mall and there's maybe uh, two, three hundred stores in the, in the mall and you're walking along and you're looking in the windows and you come to the art supply store and every shopping mall has one. And in the window there's an artist sitting there and, and uh, what, he's, what he's doing is he's painting a portrait of somebody who's sitting in a chair just maybe three, four feet away from him. And so you're looking at the canvas, and then you're looking back at the subject, and then back at the canvas, and you're thinking, my goodness, what a wonderful likeness. And you, a guy comes comes along, and he stands beside you, and he's watching too, and I say to him, gee, I, I should, that's, that's really nice. I'd, I'd sure like to be able to do that. And he says, well, you can do that. You just take a little bit of this color, and I'll mix it with a little bit of this color, and then you get the same flesh tone as the person, and then you use this brush, and you put it right here on the canvas, and you, I think you probably know where I'm going to go with this. Well, yeah, it, it can be done. Uh, 
to the, it's easy for the artist, uh, but it, it wouldn't be easy for me, even though someone would tell me how to do it. And when it comes to all this delicate work, you know, I, that I think I can do. But when it comes to the weathering, I don't know about that. And I don't want to end up with a big mess, having spent maybe, I was going to say weeks, but it'd probably be about two weeks to, to do this um, with, with the strips. I don't think I can do it. I'm just not artistic enough. And I don't need the stress of worrying about it. So I... Anyway, I'm just going to start by putting down masking tape on the gunnels. Um, I got this stuff here. And I was thinking it's, it's, a, it's a shame to waste it. I was thinking, you know, how am I going to protect the bottom of the hull while I'm doing all this spraying? And, and I thought, well, I've got this stuff here. You know, you, you, you roll it out and, uh, well, well, you know how it works. And I thought, well, it's kind of expensive. I hate to waste it and I'll save it for something that I really need. And I'm thinking, well, my goodness, I could probably use it now. Let's, let's not get ridiculous here. There's probably enough in this roll to do uh, uh, this ship and the Rodney as well. So anyway, I'm probably going to try and put this on all the way around. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go, if I'm going to start with a, the 6mm uh, tape and then put this on top of the 6mm tape because this may not bend around a corner quite as well. Uh, we'll get it figured out. Um, anyway, enough talk. It's easy to just sit here and talk. Uh, you can't make any mistakes when you're talking. It just seems like yesterday that I was doing this with our Bismarck. And the reason is uh, so that I can uh, get at the gunnel over top of these things. I can just barely make it down here. I'm wondering if I need something else on top of that. No. Put my panel line colors out here to remind you of to remind me to tell you about weathering here and when I was practicing weathering on that model that Tony sent us a year and a half ago I don't think that I had tried putting clear coat on after uh, I had painted whatever it was I was going to try the panel line coloring on and I, I do want to try that experiment but I don't want this to be the experiment uh, I, I know that there, uh, I could probably do it a little bit, but uh, you know what, I've talked enough about this. Nope, that's not right either.
The idea is I want to keep the top of the gunnel from getting the deck tan on it. Okay, I'll just go the rest of the way. Nope, that's not right either. Now I was going to try and put some more tape on just now and um, I'm realizing though that this thing is too far away from me. I've got to move it in closer towards me so I can look straight down on it and then that'll make it easier to judge where the tape is and where it isn't. Um, so I'm just going to have to readjust here. Now it had been kind of handy to have the edge of the table here to you know lay my stuff on but I think I can probably use the this part of the uh, uh, dry dock. <laughs> um, if I'm careful here, I just got to watch I don't jab the side of the hull with my tweezers. Anyway, uh, I I did notice that this tape here it appears to be at least right at this part a little bit too far this way. So I'm thinking, where's my other glasses? Okay, I'm thinking here that I should maybe just take this up and move it out just a little bit. Just a little bit. And that's kind of a little bit. Okay. Now here's another thought I had. How would it be if I took a, a toothpick and just sort of went like this along the crack? I don't know if I'm going to make it better or worse here. Nope, not that way. I'm going to have to go over it all again anyway before I spray just to make sure everything is down. We won't be spraying today, I can tell you that. It's funny, you know, when I start these videos in the morning I think to myself, oh, by the end of the day I'll have done this or I'll have done that and we'll have made great progress. Only to find that things don't go as planned.
Yeah, I'll worry about that later. Now, how about up here? I don't know. That's maybe this. Maybe this whole thing has to be moved out just a little bit. Uh, Did I change it or did I just put it back in the exact same place now? Sorry if I'm getting my knuckles in your road here and you can't see what I'm doing. Mind you, mind you, this this piece right here and this this part right here will likely be painted dark anyway, because that's that's not. Uh, that's, that's obviously not planking. Okay, now let's move on a little bit more here. if I reach my hand in through this way. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, hold it down with my finger. And get myself more or less over top of it here if I can. Ah. Oh. Press down harder. I'm going to have to tuck it in. That's not good. That is not good. Right here it's alright. I 
You know what? I put it back in the exact same place again. You know what? I think I better call it quits for today. It's getting on in the afternoon anyway. Thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.